Hey, Dr. Rep Polka from 180 Physical Therapy and the 180 System. Want to shoot a quick video and talk a little bit about why physical therapy fails when treating patients with low back pain. Uh, you might be thinking, well, that's kind of weird. You're a physical therapist. Why are you talking about the failures of physical therapy uh, with low back pain? Uh, it's because conventional physical therapy treats low back pain, um, both evaluation and treatment wise, much different than what we do here at 180. So let's take a, a look at a couple of reasons why um, if you have low back pain, you might be seeing a physical therapist, a chiropractor, a massage therapist, and not getting any long-term results. Uh, number one, a lot of physical therapists uh, jump into treatment without doing a full evaluation to figure out what the root cause of the low back pain is. If you never understand where the root cause is, you can't get rid of the problem and symptoms will return. Oftentimes, physical therapists, chiropractors, massage therapists target the low back because that's where lo the low back pain is. 99% of the time when we treat a low back, back patient here, we're not targeting the low back because the low back is actually dysfunctional because it's compensating for other body parts that aren't uh, working correctly. Uh, next reason why uh, conventional phys physical therapy fails is they try to treat low back pain patients with lots of stretches and mobility exercises. So. The problem isn't that you don't have range of motion. The problem is that you can't control range of motion. So if you get muscles to relax when they're tight, first of all, you need to understand that those muscles are tight because they're trying to protect you. If you take away the tightness, you might get an immediate uh, relief of symptoms, but that pain eventually comes back sometimes quickly because you didn't treat the root cause of the problem. So that pain and that spasm and that tightness is there for a reason. You have to get rid of it by, by treating and uh, attacking the root cause of the tightness. Um, a lot of physical therapists, chiropractors think that um, patients with low back pain need to either avoid exercise or avoid lifting, um, whether that's boxes or weights, um, or do it more correctly. Uh, there's no way that I can teach you how to move in the clinic and then have you go home and replicate that if you are dysfunctional. Um, what we should be doing is trying to figure out where the dysfunction is, treat the dysfunction, then give you follow-up exercises that help reinforce the correct mechanics or the new strength, rather than try to coach you through movement patterns that you cannot um, perform or sustain. Um, spinal manipulation. This is more uh, the chiropractic route. They're basically blaming the lumbar spine in this case for your low back pain. So they're going to adjust, pop, or um, put the bones back in place. Uh, when somebody manipulates a joint, they're not putting the bones back in place. All right. Even if they were putting the bones back in place, what do you think stabilizes the bones if they are in place? Muscles. So what we should be doing is attacking the neuromuscular um, aspect rather than blaming your problem on bones. Bones are dumb. They go wherever the muscles tell them to go, or if the muscles aren't working, they go where they want to go uh, because they're not being told uh, the correct position. Um, massage. Uh, a lot of physical therapists want to massage uh, or foam roll uh, the symptoms away. This would go along the same lines of stretching. Um, stretching and massage and foam rolling, uh, the pain to go away doesn't work because as we already talked about, the low back usually isn't the source of the problem. Um, and the last one, covering up symptoms with things like ice, heat, electrical stimulation, ultrasound, traction, needles, cupping, that kind of stuff. Um, so you can cover up symptoms and make them go away for the short, short term, but until you get to the root cause by using critical thinking strategies, the low back pain or the symptoms will come back. So if you've got low back pain and you aren't getting the results that you want to get by seeing your physical therapist, chiropractor, massage therapist, personal trainer, whatever, odds are they're making some of these mistakes and that's why you're not getting better. If you have questions, give us a um, post and uh, let us know or message us and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.